to say your burning of spirit Let it never die out Let this fire enable me To keep living for my Lord Keep this fire burning of spirit Let it never die out Let this fire enable me to keep living for my Lord. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. I'm delighted to participate in this program for felicitation of our dear friend, dear colleague, Chevalier Cyril John, uh, on, on the occasion when we commemorate the fact that the Holy Father has recognized his service to the church in India and World Church Universal and bestowed on him this title of Chevalier. I know Cyril John for many, many years. I know him mainly as involved in the charismatic movement and uh, I've seen his approach to very everything was deeply spiritual, deeply apostolic, deeply trying to build up people together and get people to love the Spirit and to bring the Spirit into their lives. Cyril John has had many responsible positions in civil society. He was uh, working in the government at Parliament House and uh, very effectively, but he never lost his love and didn't allow that to in any way uh, diminish his uh, contribution at the parish level, the diocesan level in the Archdiocese of Delhi, the national level for the CBCI, uh, renewal movement and at the international level besides also the Asian level uh, when the Holy Father uh, reorganized and formed Karis Cyril John was our man chosen to be on the Holy Father's board uh, for Karis the Lord has gifted Cyril John with a special charism for intercession and he has started intercession training centers in different parts of the world. In India, abroad, every part of the world, and he's gone in Canada, United States, in, in Germany, uh, in Africa, in Congo, Botswana, South America, Bolivia, Argentina, all over the world he started uh, schools. And I know how many people have benefited from it. He has been always very careful to make sure that people really follow the spirit. Uh, I don't think that in this, in this area is an uh, area where you need good close mentoring, close monitoring, close guidance. And Cyril John has allowed himself to be mentored and monitored and give guidance. And now he is able to give it to others. Uh, we are careful that the Lord's path is followed only, that we aren't led astray, which, uh, you know, uh, this can quite easily happen in the charismatic movement. So I, I am not physically present with you as you have the program. Uh, Cyril, uh, Chevalier Cyril, uh, I really uh, want to thank you for what you're doing. I congratulate you on this occasion. And I am sure this will uh, spur you on to ever greater service of the Spirit. God bless you. God bless all those associated with you and God bless the charismatic renewal movement in India. Thank you. God bless. I was indeed happy to be informed that our beloved Pope Francis had bestowed on Mr. Cyril John the honorific title of Knight of the Order of St. Gregory the Great. There are not many, these papal knights, and they don't fall from the sky. One has to be first and foremost of proven loyalty to the Holy See and sufficiently well known for one's outstanding and meritorious service to the Church Universal and to the international community. 
one's heightened sense of personal dedication to the church and one's readiness to go where others do not dare are the normal requisites that one usually looks for in candidates for such special papal recognitions. I am mighty happy that Cyril John fits the bill perfectly. In spite of leading a very busy life in the service of our nation, which led him to be the chief of protocol in the Indian parliament, Cyril always found time to give of his best also to the Catholic Church, more particularly to the Catholic Charismatic Renewal, both at the national and international levels. Having been invited by the Holy See to represent Asia at Caris, its recently established body to serve the charismatic realities worldwide. What better material for the bestowal of this papal honor? I would like, therefore, to extend my warmest congratulations to Chevalier Cyril John. Lady Elsama John, their family members, and also to the Caris Renewal National Service of Communion for the part they have played in this joyful ecclesial event. My prayers go with you, Chevalier, that you may take this honor as a launching pad for a renewed and even more enthusiastic service to the Church and to humanity in the future. God bless you, Chevalier Cyril John. Mr. Cyril John is undoubtedly a great gift of God to the Church in the Archdiocese of Delhi, to the Church in India, and to the Universal Church. There's no doubt about it. He has pioneered the charismatic renewal movement in the Archdiocese of Delhi for the last so many decades and the Jeevan Jyoti Ashram has been his great dream. The charismatic renewal movement in the Archdiocese of Delhi was a lay initiative championed by Mr. Cyril John and it's called the Delhi Charismatic Renewal Services which is a lay organization which owns and runs the Jeevan Jyoti Ashram, the charismatic center of the Archdiocese of Delhi, which serves not only the Archdiocese of Delhi, but the church in India and uh, even the Universal Church. I know Mr. Cyril John for the last uh, over 20 years or so. I know the quality of his Christian faith, his trust in God, his love for the church, his uh, hope in God in all circumstances and I also know the struggles he has gone through in order to be faithful to the Lord and to live his Christian life in a very exemplary way as a witnessing Christian. The qualities that I admire in him are so many but I would like to summarize them into just three. The first one is he has never allowed his professional life. He has been a senior bureaucrat in the government of India to interfere in his life of faith. On the contrary, he has brought his life of faith into his professional life. Another quality that I admire in Mr. Cyril John is his time management. What a wonderful example of a person who can manage his time in such a wonderful way. And a third quality that I admire in Mr. Cyril John is his erudition, his uh, knowledge of the Bible, the Holy Scriptures, his knowledge of the fathers of the church and the treasures of the church, his knowledge of the teachings of the church and especially of the Second Vatican Council and the wonderful way in which he can put it all together in his writings. He has a number of writings to his credit he is a theologian, so therefore he's not just a professional, 
but he's also a erudite christian i admire these qualities in him and the wonderful way in which he has brought up his family given full care to his family almost like saint joseph whom we remember during these days and during this year dedicated to saint joseph this honor which the holy father pope francis has bestowed on mr sir john that is to make him a chevalier of the equestrian order of pope saint gregory the great is certainly long overdue this honor is to recognize the service that mr sir john has rendered to the church at all levels and to the human society at large and to the building up of our nation indian nation as a christian and so i bring him at this moment the congratulations and the assurance of prayers of the entire archdiocese of delhi joining him and his family and the dcrs in thanking god for this honor that is bestowed on mr cyril john but i'm sure mr cyril john has not been wanting this kind of titles to render his service the titles are there they do come at different uh, times in our life but he has not been wanting such a title in order to render his service to the church whether the recognition is there or not what is more important for him is to dedicate himself more and more for the great mission that the lord has entrusted to us as laity as clergy and as religious to live the faith to proclaim god's kingdom to spread the gospel of god's love in this world and to always stand for christ and therefore this honor which has come his way i'm sure will be a milestone in his life to carry on his service until his last breath on earth and so on this beautiful occasion when we are congratulating him for this i join in the joy of all and pray that mr cyril john may be god's chosen instrument to spread the gospel to be a witness to christ to stand for the kingdom of god and to carry on this wonderful work of renewal which is his uh, great love the first love of his life of the charismatic renewal to carry it on with greater enthusiasm greater dedication greater greater commitment for all the remaining years of his life may god bless him may god bless the delhi charismatic and renewal services may god bless the jeevan jyoti ashram may god bless all of us and especially mrs sir john's beloved family thank you and god bless you vasilio avota kwata twapelwa na vayawe vasilio avota kwata twapelwa na vayawe twapelwa twapelwa na vayawe twapelwa twapelwa na vayawe Otwapelwa twapelwa na vayawe twapelwa twapelwa na vayawe It's amazing when you speak